Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana, I hope you're doing really, really well and in this video we're going to be going through how you can set up custom roles on Discord, give them colours and make them better, make them awesome. And also a little bit about the permissions as well, we're not going to go into too much detail about the permissions, but adding roles to your Discord can make a really big difference to the interaction in your Discord and it can also help you to segment key roles within your Discord, for example mods or plebs or super plebs i've done loads of videos on discord so feel free to check out the links in the description for the different things including linking twitch to your discord and then integrating with connections for twitch to have a subscriber role and things like that so if that is what you're looking for the subscriber integration check the link in the description otherwise in this video it'll just be going through how you can customize those roles and make the best of them if you do find this useful feel free to give it a thumbs up feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to ask me any questions at all drop into my stream at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's go. So as you can see here, we've got my Discord server. There's lots of different roles. I've got my role, the role for the mods, subscriber roles, which again, the link in the description for how to automate that. And we've got verified server members. And there's other roles that, that, that we've got as well. For example, I've got a streamer tag that I give to people, although I don't split that role off on the side. And I also have a role for things like people that have the ask a machine role, which is where people want to ask for help. Uh, they come into this section, certain people will respond to those requests. So first of all, the basics to add a role we want to click into here we want to go on server settings and it's here under roles now the first thing to note here about the roles is that they're in sort of priority order in terms of the permissions in every single role you can give specific permissions to and unless there is specific permissions on a particular server channel then the role permissions will take a precedent so there are role permissions overrides that you can put within channels but other than that if you don't apply those to a specific channel then it will basically just use the role permissions you can drag up and down the different roles just to kind of change the priority order on who has what levels of access and things like that and i've also specifically chosen here to give like a role for my bots so that i can distinguish which members are bots there's something like seven or eight different bots that i have on my discord to just to automate certain things let's let's just quickly add a new role you can click on the plus icon here to create a new role we can give it a name like geese and of course geese are red so we're going to make it red one quick tip here it does make it pretty cool if you also go on emojipedia and search for a emoji to add into that description as well you don't have to do that but it just makes it a little bit more cool so i'm going to do a search for a goose the swan is close enough and I can now add that goose there <laughs> and click save. Now I do have the option here to change permissions. One specific thing I might want to look at here, and it's one thing to note for you guys, displaying role members separately from online members. If you want them to be displayed separately on the right hand side of your Discord channel, you will need to collect this, but it will display them in priority order. So for example, if somebody has the server booster tag and somebody else has the geese tag, it will display them as a server booster, not as a Geese, goose, a geese. <laughs> but obviously you can change that by grabbing the goose and dropping the goose above the server boost. So if I now click display role members separately from others, I can do that. And also you can choose different permissions as well, like allowing people to at mention the role. Can they view channels, manage channels, things like that. So let me save changes on that. We've now got a goose roll with the emoji on there which is above all of those but below these ones here if i now go to x off this i can right click on myself and give myself a roll by selecting roll here and make myself a goose now if i just make somebody specifically here a goose as well by clicking on his roll and select him as a goose it will now display him as a goose because the verified server member is below the goose roll in this discord i should probably remove that now, just some other things as well about roles. If you want to restrict a channel to a specific role, the way you would do that is by right-clicking on the channel. For example, if it was a mod channel, go into edit channel and you would go into permissions here and you can add specific roles into the advanced permissions here. You do get a summary of it now with one of the recent updates with Discord here of who is administrator on this channel and who can essentially kind of see the channel. And then you can set the permissions by specific role. The main reason I have the everyone permission 
in this and all other channels is because I specifically want to limit everyone in the server to every server so that when they become a verified member by agreeing to the server rules, it gives them a verified server member role and the everyone role becomes essentially defunct from that point. But it just means that there's a role for absolutely everyone, even if they're not a verified member, and it gives permissions, which are essentially you have no permissions. So it just hopefully gives you a feel for that. I will do a more detailed video on this about setting up a Discord server and making a successful Discord server in due course. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to get that. So there you have it, how to add and customize and make the best of roles within Discord. Obviously, I've not gone into too much detail because I've got one or two other videos that go into that. For example, Twitch subscriber roles automation with Discord. Check the link in the description for that. Otherwise, hopefully you found this useful and have a great day. Take care.